and welcome guys welcome back today we'll go ahead and learn about how to optimize your mt4 terminal uh, just bear with me because it's too cool out here my voice is down might be a little bit low while giving a speech during this video so excuse me for that <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and learn how to optimize your mt4 okay it's very simple and it helps your ea or indicator to run very well in VPS okay especially in VPS because we hire VPS for that so now what do you need to do you need to log into your MT4 okay once you log into your MT4 you need to go to tools okay in the menu bar you will get tools and then option you can even type control plus O once you open it you will get a chart over there you just need to uncheck each and every tick mark over there and below you will get bar max in history you need to make it one okay that's the history that uh, takes the logs okay so what you need to do you to make it one over there you need to type one and then go back to the server tab once you click on server you go down and you will find enable news just go to enable news and uncheck that once you are done, go to event and uncheck the enable box here. You can see that? Yes. Now you can click OK and you are done with your tools. Next, what you need to do, you need to go to the files. Okay. And change some settings over there. Before that, what we'll do, we'll just go ahead and click on view. Okay. Once we click on view, we'll check tools. You can see all the check standard chart chart bar, status bar and everything is over there, the market watch. What you need to do, we need to remove each and everything which has been displayed in my MT4. Because we don't need it, right? Just remove one by one, the status bar, the chart bar and everything. Okay, because while we are removing it, it will optimize our MT4. We are done with that. Once you are done with that, we close whatever is there. Okay, and we click on file. After clicking on file, we'll go to open data folder. Once we open the data folder, it will give us an option with a lot of folders over there. Okay, we need to select logs. Once we click on logs, we'll, we'll find over there a multiple uh, date over there. Okay, multiple date. That's a data. Okay, that's a log of date. What we need to do, we need to delete all the logs, all the logs and the meta trade over there. What we need to keep it is the current date, like uh, today is 30th, okay? We will not delete that one, okay? We will exclude that and delete rest of the dates over there. Just click delete and you're done. Once you're done, just go back and click MQL4. Once you click MQL4, again you will find logs over there, a folder named logs. Go over there, do the same thing, keep the current file and delete the rest of it. Okay, the current date should be there and we just need to delete the rest of it. Delete it. Done. That's great. Once we are done with this, just go ahead and close it. Hope you guys understand, you know, it's help your EA or indicator to run in a better way. Okay, even you can go ahead and right click on your screen of your chart, okay, if you want. Now, what you need to do a simple step that you need to go ahead and restart your MT4 after doing all this changes in your MT4. Once you restart your MT4, you will be amazed, you know, your MT4 will be optimized. There will be nothing over there. You can you see this? Yes, nothing is there. It's already optimized. Even you can uh, remove the greed, what you can see over there. Just go ahead and right click and uh, click on greed and it will be removed. It's completely clean. Completely clean. Hope you guys liked it, right? It's simple. It will help your EA to run better, your uh, uh, indicator to run better in your VPS and it will not take enough RAM. Okay, it will. It will give you a lot of RAM space left. Hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, 
comment and share. Thank you for watching.